Welcome back to Shinobi Striker. Season 8 has just begun, but this season isn't like the others. There's a lot of new content on its way, including a new rarity of weapon, the SS Plus rank, which have the most unique movesets I have ever seen in this game. And the Ninja Hounds are also joining at a later date, and those will be equipped in a brand new slot. They won't take up a Jutsu or a Ninja tool. But today's video is all about the new DLC character, and that's Kawaki Karma Progression, not to be confused with the other Kawaki already in the game, although this one is also an attack type. And to prove to you that that this season really is different, this time around there is no season pass. So even if you wanted to commit to the season in exchange for a discount on each character, you can't. Not this time. This means characters are gonna be a bit more expensive than usual, but this won't change how I scored the DLC or the Jutsu at all. I just want you to know that you would usually pay if you were to get a season pass. $3.99 and what do you get when you complete Kawaki's progression? Well, in terms of cosmetics, you get Amado's hair, which I kinda like, that's a better addition than I thought it was gonna be, and you get two new outfits. They don't have any unique passive skills, so they are purely cosmetic. And that's all you get besides the Jutsu. So this character does not bring any substitution or ninja tools, even though the character itself uses Kawaki's ninja tool and emergency exit. I feel like they could have easily given you those for this DLC as well. It would have made the whole package feel a little bit better, definitely getting more value for each buck, but it seems like you still need to buy the other Kawaki if you want to equip those on your created character. With that out of the way, let's talk ninjutsu, starting with Daikokuten. It throws a stake from another dimension and drops a cube on those it hits. This is an insanely fast projectile with an automatic follow-up. It might seriously be the fastest projectile that this game has. It is incredibly fast. If it connects, it stuns the target for a very short time, but it's enough for the follow-up cube to connect as well and to give you a combo extension from that. This follow-up is completely automatic, you don't have to worry about it. If your projectile connects, so does the cube. In fact, the cube can hit multiple people if they are near your initial target. This thing has some crazy range. I mean, as long as you can lock onto your target, this thing will travel. And on top of it, it is unblockable, which makes it extra easy to land. Thanks to how fast it is and its range, finding new combos for this Jutsu was the most fun I have had with this character. It actually combos with Jutsu that I just never thought would work. The potential is insane. That said, it's not without its weaknesses. First of all, the Jutsu only travels in a straight line, so it can be easy to dodge if your opponent knows it's coming. And because the first step of the Jutsu is a simple projectile, the most basic of barriers will counter it. It will just not go through objects, which means you also gotta be careful throwing it in tight spaces, because you might hit a wall. The exception here is Susano Armor, which will lose to any unblockable attack, and since this cannot be blocked, Susano Armor is actually hard countered by this. With a relatively short cooldown and incredible combo potential, this feels like a jutsu made for me, though I do gotta knock it a bit for not being the most creative jutsu out there. I mean, let's face it, it's a simple projectile and then they reused one of Ishiki's cubes, but it's used in a new context, so I don't feel scammed at all. Moving on to our next Jutsu, Sukuna Hikona God Hunter. This has a really long description, but it's one of those that we can safely ignore, because long story short, you're gonna dash towards your opponent and hit them, and hit them knocking them up at the perfect height for them to be comboed. The gimmick here is that during the dash, you are shrunken, meaning that you are fully invincible while dashing. So it feels like this Jutsu should be used as a counter for when someone is rushing you. And it does work if they are rushing you with a melee attack, but it's not a great counter against other jutsu. The invincibility runs out immediately after you come out of the dash, and this means that if you're trying to counter any jutsu that has armor, you will actually lose. And I mean, even the tiniest bit of armor is enough. I was losing to dynamic entry pretty consistently, no matter how I timed my jutsu. But it can be a great jutsu to force your way in, because in general, you will counter a regular approach, and the activation is so fast that your enemy will have no time to react. Plus, they will be at the perfect height for you to combo, so using another jutsu or just your melee attacks will be pretty damaging as long as they have no substitutions. Now, the jutsu can be blocked, but it feels a little bugged at the moment because you still get your combo counter and the sound effect still sounds like it combos, but the opponent actually blocks the whole thing. So if you're having trouble against this jutsu, just block, bruh. I found this jutsu to be really good in a 1v1 scenario, but of course Shinobi Striker is a team game, so don't think you'll be overpowering everyone in a team fight just because you have a tiny bit of invisibility during your dash. And I also thought this could be an okay jutsu for carrying flags, but unfortunately the dash distance isn't great either, and the cooldown is slightly longer than you'd want for something like that, so at the end of the day, this feels like a very situational jutsu in my opinion. Now, this character happened to come out at the same time as a very broken weapon, which is this kunai that you can get with 10 10 scrolls. If you see someone with this custom intro, you know they have that weapon. And this jutsu into that weapon's strong attack seems 
incredibly broken, but I do think that that's the weapon doing most of the work here. I mean, it's a really cool weapon, but it's also the most broken thing that I have seen in a long time. This really makes Shinobi Striker pay to win. You can easily land infinites with this, and there are infinite combos using only strong attacks, which means you cannot substitute out of them. Please fix this, I get that you want to sell scrolls, but you're gonna make everyone else quit your game. This is day one, and it's already this bad. Okay, sorry for going off on a tangent. That's the second jutsu, let's move on to his ultimate. Karma progression, the ultimate that literally has the longest description of any jutsu in the game. Dude, ain't nobody reading all of that. Luckily, I'm here to tell you exactly what it does, and it's not that deep. This is an install ultimate, meaning you activate it and it buffs you for a period of time. 30 seconds, to be more precise. When you activate it, it heals you back to full health like many other ultimates like this do, and it also buffs your melee attacks while modifying your strong attack at the same time. Whenever you hit the strong attack button, a cube will fall from the sky onto the player you're locked onto. Now, the cube takes a while to fall, so if they're moving, you probably won't hit your target. It's similar to the first jutsu we looked at, but without the projectile part of it. The cube simply falls on whoever you're locked onto, even through walls, and for 30 seconds, you can spam this as many times as you want. If the 30 seconds end, that's it, nothing else happens, you just return to normal. But you may also end your super earlier with a follow-up attack, which are these fireballs. You shoot them, and if they connect, you will automatically teleport to your target and one-shot them. No matter how much health they have, whoever gets hit goes down. Now, if the fireballs miss, or if you hit a target who can't get damaged, like someone who's still invulnerable getting up, then you get absolutely nothing. You don't get a second try, so make sure you make it count, because that's a one-shot guaranteed kill. With this ultimate, I always aim for at least two kills, taking advantage of my 30 seconds I chase that first kill, and then turn to someone with full health and hit them with a fireball. Though sometimes, someone one you're not expecting might just jump in the way of your targets, so yeah, that happens. Oh yeah, I forgot, you are immune to projectiles during this whole thing. You see that yellow trail on your left eye? Yeah, that's Sukuna Hikona, so any projectile thrown your way is automatically nullified, be it ninja tools or ninja two. Now, it does not stop ultimates or melee attacks. And you're not armored in any way during this ultimate, by the way, so you can still get rushed and killed like anyone else. The ultimate is actually not as scary of an install ultimate as something like Baryon Mode or Karma Awakening, so if you see anyone using this ultimate, it might actually be a good idea to rush them, because they usually get too cocky and they don't want to use the ultimate right away, the fireballs, and if there are the subs, you can combo them like you would combo anyone else. And now that we've talked about all of that, here is Kawaki's card. I think he has one very good jutsu and an Another one that's also good, but a bit situational. And I also think the ultimate is very good. That said, nothing about this character feels like he is a must-have DLC. I think that new weapon alone is gonna define the meta way more than these three jutsu combined will. And creatively, I also think he's a bit weak. None of the jutsu are super unique. It feels like they assembled a kit with some pieces they already had laying around. That said, I still love the combo potential, especially with Daikokuten, so I might actually run this one for a while. And that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and for more Shinobi Striker, here's what you can expect from this season. There's a lot coming out in the next few months, so make sure you are ready. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.